When we were kids, we all had one movie that stuck with us forever. From a personal standpoint, my mom's favorite kids film is Ratatouille. It was a movie that me and her watched all the time when I was a kid. Well, that and Cars. Movies that I probably forced her into watching. Sorry, love you mom. But one movie from my childhood has always been my favorite. How to Train Your Dragon. When I was a kid, I loved three things. Dragons, explosions, and flight scenes. How to Train Your Dragon is based off a book series that I never really read about a boy named Hiccup who befriends a dragon in the middle of a literal war, showing that dragons and vikings can live in peace together. Hiccup is a character that I related to, and I'm pretty sure most of us related to. He's a shy, timid kid just trying to show the world what he has to offer. Toothless reminds me of a pet that I once owned, and I'm pretty sure that was the general idea. He's like designed after a cat. It's little things that the dragons do. It reminds me of all the dogs I owned when I was a kid. I'm in love with this movie in case you couldn't tell. Um, they got an all-star voice cast for this movie with stars like Jay Baruchel, Jonah Hill, Christian Wiig, TJ Miller, America Ferreira. Um, just a cast that does an incredible job. And if I'm correct, they stayed for all three movies and some of the TV shows. Well, I think some of them stayed for the TV shows. I know Jonah Hill didn't do a whole lot of recording for shows like Riders of Burke and, you know, all the other stuff. But whatever. The animation for... 2010 standards looks beautiful and they've definitely gotten better over time especially with the second and third film especially with the third film oh my god that third film looks amazing but i still haven't seen any of these movies in 3d um if you've seen these movies in 3d let me know down in the comments do they look beautiful in 3d um or are they better in their original formats the score by john powell is just mesmerizing with one of my favorites being romantic flight and forbidden friendship so those are like two of the best songs from the soundtrack by the way thank you john powell for making such an amazing score and a catchy one at that and a score that basically captures my entire childhood um the flight scenes are like just amazing i remember seeing this movie in theaters with my mom and grandma for the first time and after the movie um, I had all of the McDonald's figures and I used to recreate scenes from the movie and I collected like a bunch of toys from the movie sadly I don't know where they are my mom probably got rid of them kidding love you I really wish I could go back in time and relive the memory of seeing this film for the first time it will forever hold a place in my heart as one of my favorite animated movies of all time and I said one I know about Toy Story and all the other stuff I'll cover those later I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 Please come back. I need How to Train Your Dragon in my life again. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I highly recommend it for kids and adults. It's a fun watch for the family. It's a great watch for young and old. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my normal outro. I know this was a little bit of a short video, but uh, probably with me talking, we'll probably get the video to about six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my normal outro. Like I said, if you really want to go... If you want to go ahead, you can leave. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. But I'm going to go ahead and do the normal outro. So, um, I'm going to talk about the Incredible Hulk review. So last week, I was supposed to film the Incredible Hulk review. Um, I was busy Friday, so I didn't get to do that. And I was busy Saturday, so I definitely get to film it. But I wrote the script. I made the thumbnail. All I got to do is record the video and edit the video. And then I'll have it up on Friday. I promise. So I'm probably going to film that after this, more than likely. So, yeah. Also, in the Sonic 06 video that I did on Saturday. Also, thank you guys for watching that. That video is at about 40 views right now and going up, I believe. So, uh, as you can tell, there was a watermark on the video. Um, it was my first edit using Filmora. And uh, I didn't expect the watermark to be that huge. Because I remember I was editing it and it said there's going to be a watermark on the screen. I'm just like, oh, it's going to be something small. And no, it's a huge watermark. So, uh, I don't know. Um, my phone's not really being the best right now to uh, film off of. So, that's why I'm kind of stuck with using Filmora 9. Um, but I, I like using Filmora 9. So, I may do one or two more videos in Filmora 9 and then come back over to my phone. I don't know. Who knows? I really like using Filmora 9, but if you guys don't like the watermark on the screen, just let me know down in the comments or on my Instagram. And uh, if it bothers you, then I'll probably go to a different format. I don't know. If you know any other editing uh, softwares for iPhones and Androids, let me know. And then I can switch over to that. 
but I just like Filmora because it's comfortable to use, it's easy to use, and I get more um, stuff out of it basically than I do with Velo. So uh, the best every series. I came up with the idea for it and I need to film that, well I need to write the script so I don't know when that video is going to come out, but um, yeah, I, I did pick another series to cover and I'm going to cover that sometime sooner or later, I don't know when. Um, yeah, um, I'm going through the stuff that I wrote. Uh, okay, so we are in the home stretch for me this is my second semester in college we are going for the home stretch right now and uh... i don't know if i'm gonna upload as frequently i probably will more than likely depending on how the schedule goes uh... with um, my finals but uh... when finals come around i'm probably not gonna upload as frequently just a heads up just telling you guys so if you don't see any videos for like uh... two or three days then it's probably because i'm studying for finals and uh, I think that's about it. So, um, I do have a question that you guys can answer in the comments or on my Instagram. Doesn't really matter to me. What is your favorite moment from the How to Train Your Dragon franchise? Be sure to answer that question in the comments or on my Instagram. Does really matter. Once again, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Turn your post notifications on so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Literally, only takes about two seconds. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you all so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you next time.